Hi, this is Paul Salt from iPhone Dev TV. We are continuing the game menu tutorials and now I'm gonna show you how to make this view controller hide. So we currently don't have a way to test it and we're gonna to have to write a delegate protocol to do this. So a delegate protocol is a way where we can pass a message back to whoever we want. And so this is sort of an indirect design pattern so that our code is less coupled and easier to maintain. And so I'm gonna teach you how to do this so that you can do this with every screen in your iPhone app. This is how I can send information back when someone presses a button and control that experience from one central point. And so what we'll do here is we'll create a protocol and I'm in the gameviewcontroller.h file. And here we're gonna use the convention where we take the name of the class and we add delegate to the end. So it's game view controller delegate and then we're going to add some methods. And again, the convention for our methods when we add them is to prefix them with whatever the thing is that we are working with. So the game view controller, and we're going to have a pause button. So we're going to say did press pause. And we like these to be verbs and very verbose. And then we pass in the game view controller object. That's our current self. And we'll call this the game view controller. So it's a lot to type but this is really important when we do different things. So we can have the, the pause button. Another condition you want to think about are end game conditions. So these are anything that might be triggered by the game that you want to notify the other game screens about. And so we could do game view controller did, and then uh, we want game over or something like that. So um, we'll call this did, Let's call it did finish game. And then we'll just pass ourself again. Now you'll notice that there's an issue with the way I've written it right now. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. So what we've done is it's expecting a type. So we're using the type before it's even declared. So here we'll need to do a thing called a forward declaration of the class. And all we have to do here is write class and then the name of the class, which is game view controller. So autocomplete is really helpful with this stuff. That will make the issue go away so that this works. So these are two methods that we can invoke. Um, and you can add more methods depending on what types of information you need to send back. You can also add more parameters. Maybe you want to say did finish game and with a certain score. So you might pass back the score. And let's say that's going to be an int and then we'll call it score. So you can pass information back, and this is just a handy way to do it. So the next thing we'll need is a delegate property. So I'm gonna add a property down here, and this will be our delegate property. It's gonna be non-atomic and weak. We always want delegate properties to be weak, and just follow along if you've never done this before. Here we pass in the game view controller delegate. So that's the thing that we declared at the top here. And what this is, it's gonna be a weak reference, which means we're not establishing ownership of it we are just referring to it. It's like you give someone else a task, but they're not really responsible for doing anything uh, with it. You just want to be notified maybe when someone scores a point in a, in a game or something like that. And so with this delegate, we'll be able to pass messages when we reach certain conditions. So we have this pause button and I'm going to go ahead and I'm switched over into our view controller.m file. And this did receive memory warning. We can just get rid of, we don't need it. And then in here, I'm going to add our button. So let's pull up the interface. What I'm going to do is turn on the assistant editor here. And if we select the view controller XIB file, so the game view controller, we should be able to find our pause button. I'm going to hide this right here and move this over. So here's our pause button. I can insert an outlet. Now you have to look for where it says interface. That's where we can insert an outlet into our either .h or .m file. So it really doesn't matter. Um, I guess the only distinction is sometimes you want things to be private and so it would make sense to put it in the .m file versus the .m .h file. So actually, let's go ahead and do it that way. Let's, let's keep some of the implementation details a little bit private so not everyone gets confused with all of the things that don't matter to them. So you, you wanna limit how many things are sort of public and visible between different code files. And so by putting this in the .m file, we limit the visibility so that when other code files are looking at this, they don't get confused, they don't mix things up, they don't mess up 
the internal details of how the game is actually going to run. So this is going to be our pause button. And I actually want to get an action, not an outlet. So I'm just going to select action here. And we want pause button pressed. And we'll hit connect. Now that'll auto insert uh, a declaration right here. And it will also put one down here for us. If I dragged down here, it would have actually just created the one line of code. Or I guess that's two lines of code. And in here, we're going to call the delegate method. So we're going to say self.delegate. Now, I know this is a little bit weird. We're connecting these things. Um, and this is all to just pass information back and forth. And this is a standard convention for how we'll do it. So I'll switch back to the .m file. I'm on the single view here. And we'll scroll back down to where we were. And here we have that method that we can call. So it's game view controller and did press pause. So we'll go with that. All we need to do is pass our self. And then I'll complete that. So that should call the, the pause method inside our view controller, which right now doesn't exist. So what we're going to do is we have this new protocol at the very top here in viewcontroller.m. I'm going to add a thing that's going to say, okay, we're going to conform to this delegate protocol. What this means is that we're going to respond to a certain event that the game view controller is going to pass us. And there's two steps here. The first step is we need to set the delegate on the game view controller and we want to set it to ourself. So ourself right now is this view controller, which means that we need to implement a new method. And so here we'll see some warnings that we're not implementing two methods, did press pause and did finish game with score. And so we're going to scroll to the bottom to implement these methods. I like to separate them with the pragma mark dash. And using this, we can name them. So this will be our game view controller delegate methods. And I'll show you what this does in a moment. I'll use the special, um, once we've conformed to the protocol, we'll actually, we can leverage autocomplete to write this for us. So we started it with game view controller. So I can just start typing game and then we can just autocomplete. I press enter to select. And that's one of the methods. And then we can do the other one. If I just press escape after doing this dash, we can start to write game and we can get our other method did finish game with score. So we can say did finish and we could even pass the score here and print it out. So that's if someone sends the message right now, no one's sending it because there's no game yet. We're, we're not quite there. Um, and then we have the pause button is pressed. So to, to test out if things are working, let's use this pause button to actually hide our view controller. And so in here, we can test hiding. So let's say self hide view controller, which is the method we wrote. And then all we need to pass in is our game view controller. So now we're, we're leveraging our delegate protocol so that we can hook this up and see if it actually works. So here's our game screen that pops on the screen. And if I have pause, it disappears. Play, pause. All right, you'll notice that it didn't seem like it animated. And this is what I was alluding to in the previous video. The problem is once we remove something from the super view, it's no longer visible. So we won't see animation. So what we'll have to do is I'll have to move that line. So I'll cut it and paste it into our completion block. Now you have to be careful if you don't, decide to do animations, you always still need to remove this. So just make sure that that does happen, but don't do it before the animation is finished. Now we hit play and then pause and you'll see that it disappears. Let's try that again. Let me take the highlight off the mouse so you can just see how it looks. And that's pretty cool. If I wanted it to, to go off screen, what we can do is we can look at doing something very similar to what we did up top. So here, what we can do is just set our animation. We want it to move it off screen. And so this will move off screen. And I'll just put a comment here. This will start off screen. So now if we go ahead and run, again, I'm just copying and pasting the, the lines of code that we already wrote before. Hit pause, it slides up and animates out. So that's kind of cool. So now we have a way to present our own view controllers using custom containment. And this is really cool because now we can build that pause screen view that's going to be over top of our interface. And we can do more things. All right, so we don't really want this to 
to hide our game view controller. So we're going to comment that out for now because we're going to need to be creating our pause view controller. And that's what we'll start with in the next video.